Thank you. Uh, let me uh, just uh, conclude with a few remarks. Uh, our state of candidates will be uh, quite diverse in background, uh, but of course, uh, it's only 20 odd candidates, so we will not be able to say completely cover the whole ground with uh, new candidates. So what you should look at the slate of the PAP is the entire slate, those incumbents who are standing again, as well as the new candidates that we will fill. So is that, in, in, you should look at it in total, uh, what is it that the PAP is offering uh, to the people this time around. So it's not just about the new candidates alone, but it's also about the incumbents who are uh, standing for re-election. Uh, there will be pressures and stresses uh, in any uh, aspect of uh, for anybody standing uh, t taking a role in the public life uh, there would be <coughs> stresses and strains there will be criticisms As someone who has uh, been in politics for 30 years, uh, sometimes it's my role to give advice to the younger ones uh, how they should cope with uh, stresses and strains. And he reminds me of uh, what I uh, used to tell people who work for the trade unions, that whatever you do, there will be criticism because you have to look at what is in the overall interest of the workers. And sometimes when you take that line, there will be certain segments of the workers who feel that uh, they are adversely affected. But for the overall good of the workers, right, this is the right policy. So you have, uh, first of all, foremost, to focus your mind on what is in the overall interest of the workers. So in this case, for people standing for election, what is in the overall best interest of the people? Always decide your stand, and where you stand, on that basis. Then uh, you get criticized. Uh, it is in the nature of human beings that people would uh, say all kinds of things. It can hurt you, but you have to take it in your stride. So for those who join me in serving the trade union movement, I used to say, you should listen with one ear and let it come out the other ear. Don't take it to heart. That is the only way to retain your sanity. Now, we are all human beings and we look forward to being appreciated uh, for the good work that we do. But uh, always remember that uh, the good words uh, are few and far in between. The criticisms you will hear will be almost on a daily basis. And I give them this example. Uh, forgive me, I'm a Catholic, so, so I quote from what I learned uh, as a uh, person growing up as in a Catholic faith. There's this parable of the ten lepers. So ten lepers uh, encountered uh, Jesus Christ when he was going about his preaching and they asked him uh, to cure them. Uh, so he said, uh, go and wash yourself in the river and show yourself to the priest. So they went about that and they were cured. One grateful leper then rushed back to find Jesus Christ and to thank him. And Jesus Christ then said, were not all ten cured? Meaning, why is it only one out of the ten came back to thank him? Oh, I think if God receives thanks, 
from only 10% of the people he helped, we mere mortals should not expect to have more. So in other words, whatever you do, do from your conviction, because you believe in it to be right, that this will improve the lives of people, but don't expect to be thanked. So on this note, thank you for coming. And uh, when is the next one? The party issue will tell you. How fast uh, the pace would be will depend, as I said the other day, to some uh, of the reporters. Uh, this will be based on technical decisions. Thank you.